There are a wide range of periodontal procedures that can be performed using the laser. Before proceeding, let's talk about why someone might need periodontal gum treatment. On the left you see healthy gum tissue, and on the right you can see their inflamed gum tissue. When tartar builds up around the gum line and continues to grow downwards towards the gums, you have calculus formation which goes under the gums and makes the root surface unsmooth. This makes the gum tissue unattached from the tooth and you need a deep cleaning in order to smoothen the root structure again. If you don't, the gums will continue to recede, you will continue to have bone loss, and as the teeth start to lose bone, they'll start to get loose over time and lose support. In this animated clip, you can see that the laser is being used to remove diseased gum tissue. At the same time, it's performing biostimulation, which is encouraging healing pulse treatment. Moving on to our next video, you could see that under the gums, all of the diseased tissue has been removed, and now all we have left to remove is the plaque and the calculus which is stuck onto the root surface of the tooth structure. The plaque and calculus are really easy to remove with the laser, and as they're being removed, the light from the laser is also doing something else. The laser is removing toxins and other substances that bacteria normally leave behind and which lower recovery rate. As these are taken away and destroyed, the root is also being disinfected by the laser. You can see here a real life video of calculus removal. Since the diseased tissue and all of the plaque and calculus were removed and we have a healthy pocket, the gums can reattach to the tooth and this is accelerated by the formation of a fibrin clot as you can see here by the laser. Here you can see an example of tissue that was inflamed around teeth before and after the periodontal treatment was performed. Look how healthy the tissue looks. In a more severe case, we may have to do a bone graft to regenerate bone. Here you can see that bone was added to the crest of the bone below the gum level and then once it was closed up, the tooth has more support and the bone graft integrates with the natural bone. Here are some x-rays of a case where bone was regenerated through periodontal treatment. You can see on the left that there's bone loss and on the right the bone has been regenerated. Actually, the laser is great at regenerating tissue and bone, something that normal periodontal procedures do not do. In this case, you can see a patient with severely inflamed gums. These gums are cut back by the laser in a gingivectomy. This type of procedure normally requires a blade, but with a laser, there's less trauma, less bleeding, less anesthesia, and the patient's much more comfortable while still achieving a great result. We at 100 and Family Dental Care thank you for watching our video on periodontal treatment using laser dentistry.